Welcome to the new and improved version of Marvel Snap. Now they have officially released on PC after being out for like, I don't know how long, like six to seven months now, I don't know. Which means we get a host of new features. Nope, I want like, I really like this, how I'm able to see so many cards. That's a great idea. We're going to be playing my discard deck today, which does include, I am kind of farming to Mr. Negative Boosters because there is an open slot, like I can include something in here. I don't have X23 yet. Uh, and we do have deck on one of the new cards. This entire deck is based around uh, playing a pretty steady game. You play uh, Dracula on turn 4, Murloc on turn 5, a bunch of swarms on turn 6 with Chavez, and then you discard Apocalypse a couple of times throughout the game. And yes, I am using my lovely little Infinity Rock Avatar. <laughs> so what we're going to do is play Conquest. Now... I used to do like a lot of post editing in this, which I don't think I need to do anymore. We'll play the Silver Conquest. So now since it's actually been released on PC, I don't need to move stuff around. Everything is just going to be where it is. And I can also include a little bit of something else, which I will show in a sec. Yes, so you now have both of the deck trackers. So you have my deck tracker and then the opponent's deck tracker. So we can kind of like keep track of the cards that they're playing, and it should update as they continue to play cards, which is pretty damn cool. Okay, plus two power in player's hands is okay. We're going to go Morbius in the middle, and then probably Colleen Wing on the left-hand side, so we can discard either Wolverine or Swarm. Both of those are great options. Hey! Oh my god. Oh my god, are all of his cards... Ooh, okay, I kind of want a magic to get rid of the Quantum Tunnel here. Okay, Batu. Jessica Jones. Oh my god, are all of these cards inked? Bradley. Brad, my buddy. Brad. There are other games on the market. Brad. Holy cow. Okay, we go Dracula here, I think. And then next turn we go Colleen Wing into Wolverine. Oh, She-Hulk is not inked. But it's gold. Okay, well... Yikes. <laughs> okay, yes. Ooh, actually, we kind of, we want to go clean wing into Dakin here, not the other way around. So we want to try and get Modok. Uh, what have we got with the Modok, Mr. Negative, Lady Sif? So it's a one in three chance of us drawing Modok on turn seven, which I think should be okay. Gold Stegron. I have seen Stegron before, by the way. Jeez, this entire deck is just meant to just... It's a giant middle finger at me. Like, what, are you poor? Yeah, you're poor. Let's go Chavez in the middle. Try and close that numbers gap. And Mr. Negative. Okay, we lose this. <laughs> if we drew Modok, I think we would have... <clears throat> if we drew Modok, I think we would have had, like, a pretty good chance of winning this. Like, eventually, this is what I want my decks to, to look like, all inked and golded. Escaped. But man, I, it's gonna take forever. I don't know how he's doing it. Brad, Brad, Bradathan, Bradley. Plus two power to cards in players' hands. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I will take a 3-6 Dakin. Okay, guy, stop. Now you're just showing off. Magic gives us another turn. Colleen Wing discards any one of these cards, and Dakin gives us the the little dude. I kind of want to just magic now, because I feel like putting the putting the thing in our hand at the moment, the little sword, is probably not a good idea yet. Mr. Negative is an empty slot, by the way. It's like just a card that I'm not. I can put anything there, and I'm just farming boosters with him at the moment. I just want more boosters so I can ink him. I think we go Lady Sif here in the mid. That way we can get rid of Mr. Negative on our hand. Ugh. Yikes. Okay, now we go Colleen Wing. No, 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 we go Colleen Wing here into Wolverine on the left. That way we're discarding Swarm. And then on turn seven, if we draw Dracula, we're still in a pretty decent spot. Okay, opponent is snapping. Okay, he didn't play anything. 
this is uh, this is a bit tough one. Okay, we drew apocalypse. Does not help us here. Apocalypse does not help. I don't think we beat this, do we? I kind of want to see what his finisher is. Like, we don't know what his, his last card is, do we? Stegron, She-Hulk, Vatu, and three other cards. I feel like we just want to retreat here. Damn, we just haven't gotten the, the gas hand. He's just, all of his cards just seem to do stuff. I think he is an ongoing deck. It does make sense that it'd be ongoing. I'm looking at all of his cards and they just seem like... Yeah, that's, that's the cards I put in the deck. Okay, Colleen Wing into Swarm is fantastic. If we can go Dakin on turn 5 or even earlier, we can add power and then double it. And we eventually discard the little shard. Cards can't be played here. Okay, we, get, we can get pretty lucky with Wolverine here. Okay, we really need the space. I think we just go magic on the left hand side. But maybe we wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. God damn, I hate this. <laughs> Morbius into... I don't even know what. Next turn, we need to draw Modok. If we draw Modok next turn, I think we're in a really good spot. Because then Modok goes on the left, and then we can dump a Swarm in the middle, and then Wolverine will guarantee go on the right. Okay, Mo Morbius here is the correct choice. Oh my... <laughs> there was a 50-50 chance of it actually doing that. And it, of course it did. Okay, we got magic here to give ourselves an extra turn. Yeah, no, we leave. There was a 50-50 chance, alright? It could either have gone left and screwed us or gone right and won us the game. I'm really trying to win this. Normally, I'd just be like, yeah, let's go 8 cubes. Let's just, whatever. Let's just run it. Okay, this, this hands are not very good. These are not very good hands. Like, they're really not. Okay, more cards here gets 100 power. Okay, we're gonna play Wolverine early. I'm gonna chuck him on the right. Uh, let's go magic on the left hand side. Ooh, no, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the cloning vat so he can't use it. I assume he's gonna use it once. Nope, never mind. Let's go Dracula on the left hand side. And then I shoot Modok on the left hand side as well. Okay, this is good for us. Dracula into Modok gives us, like, we're, we're good here. We're good. If we can go Dakin earlier as well, go, like next turn. If we can draw Dakin and then Colleen Wing, like any two drop, like Morbius or Colleen Wing would be fantastic here. Yeah. Okay, Storm is fine because we have Dracula. Assuming we draw Apocalypse, we're okay. Mr. Negative is not what we want. Um, let's go Dakin, and then next turn we can Modok. Next turn we Modok, hoping for Apocalypse on turn 7. Or even if we get Morbius on turn 7, we're in a really good spot. We're definitely Modoking next turn so we can outpace him on Mojo World. Okay, still got two cards I don't know about on his deck. Uh, so we go Sharvit? No, we go Modok here, sorry. Modok means we are winning on the left hand side. He didn't play anything, so he's just stacking up power on Sunspot. Okay, we drew Apocalypse. Okay, so we win the left-hand side because we discard Apocalypse. Do we run for the right, or do we go for Mojo World? Can he dump three cards in the middle? Well, he actually might be able to. We haven't seen Nebula, we haven't seen Vatu, we haven't seen Captain America. So he probably can. So what we do is we just undo and then we just dump on the right. Right? Is that the play? We just really freak him out here. We trick him. Okay. Let's let's run it like that because then we win on the right. We are discarding Apocalypse so we win on the left. Modok wins us Mojo World. So I assume he's going to play everything into Mojo World. Stegron. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. We still won Mojo World. Whew. And we discard Apocalypse at 12 power. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. All of those, like, retreats earlier. We just had the gas hand. We just had it. Okay. High stakes round. Okay, we're not playing on Jotunheim. 
We're probably going to play Morbius into Magic. It just freaks me out. Every single one of his cards is inked. It's just, it looks too pretty. Don't particularly want to, I don't particularly want a Colleen Wing into Wolverine and there's a 1 in 3 chance I just lose that lane. Oh, actually, it's Magic on that lane. Card text disabled. Okay, we Magic on the left hand lane. So then we can clean wing and like Dakin and stuff and we're not worried about where Wolverine goes. I like this play though. I like just playing Nebula, Armor, Sunspot and then just like, you can just float energy as much as you'd like. I think it's very cool. Four energy. So we go Dracula here. We can still win the middle if we go like Dakin into clean wing. Oops, sorry, other way around. Clean wing into Dakin and then Wolverine jumps down. Like there is a chant. Is there a chance? <laughs> we can draw Swarm here. Could be good. Modok would be fantastic. Apocalypse is decent as well. Lady Sif into Colleen Wing here, which means we discard Apocalypse and Wolverine. We're adding 8 power in the middle. Morbius is going up another 4, so we're going up to 12 power in the middle. Maybe if Wolverine goes in the middle, we'll go up to like 16, but every discard. Like, we're doing pretty well on power in the middle. Middle? Ooh, okay. That's fine, we have power on the right. Is it 18 power, huh? Chavez on the right. What do we got here? Mojo, Captain America, Jester Jones, Stegron. Okay. Show me a new card. Infinite. that's a new card. I think I might lose this one. <laughs> So I think what he's going to do is just dump power on the right hand side into deep space. So we go Dakin Swarm on the right. Ah. No, okay, this is what we do. This is what we do. We go Apocalypse. Okay, so we go Apocalypse. We go to 25, which is not a lot. I'm pretty sure we lose this. What can he play that wins us the game? Wins him the game? He can go She-Hulk, he can go Mojo, Vatsu, Captain America. There's so many ways he wins, but I think Apocalypse playing on the right here is our best chance of winning. I think. Yeah, we just don't beat that. I don't think there was anything we could do to beat that. Yeah, that's good. That was a good deck. I like it. It's just got good cards in it. <laughs> Never found out what that last card was, though. Mr. Negative Boosters, that's exactly what we want. Okay, let's collect this. I do find it very funny how, yes, we've like launched on PC, but whenever we go and like check the missions, it opens up in like this tiny little window, very similar to a mobile screen. <laughs> okay, where is this Mr. Negative? No, we're not gonna upgrade you. We're gonna upgrade our inked variant. How far can we go? Just 40, done. Once this guy is fully like infinite and inked, then I'm just gonna take him out of the deck. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this new format, this new like look for Marvel Snap. I think it's pretty cool. So if you want to enjoy the deck, the deck is right there. Again, Mr. Negative is like a flex card. You can take him out. I don't have X-23 yet. If I did, X-23 would replace Mr. Negative here. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Okay, sounds good. But to do that, I do have the thing open. Hold on. So we need the, the potions like the day bloom and the the fire and or the fire and the water plants, right? Yes, yes. So we need fire blossom, water leaf, obsidian, and bottled water. But once we have it, we can just duplicate it as much as we like. And the the fire ones in hell, yes. and the water ones in the 